want to get unready with me today. <laughs> so I have already cleaned with the Sicily cleanser that I've been using and loving, by the way. Um, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I have a little one that's already open of this somewhere, but I don't know where. So to put my masks on, I use just any regular old brush. It doesn't matter what kind. And I brush my masks on. I don't like to use my fingers. So, we're just going to brush this on. I got a little bit much, so we're, we'll spread it out. mask smells and feels so good. Oh, I got way too much. I got it a little closer to my eye than go by this eye, not this one. <laughs> The only problem with doing this kind of video for you guys is I don't have water in here. Um, so the things like taking the mask off, all of that, I will have to do off camera. Let's go down on the neck a little bit. My robe is dirty because I have taking it off and on all day because it's cold. This mask has to sit for 10 minutes. I will take it off in the bathroom, meet you back here, and we'll finish getting unready. Wow. We're back. The Super Bowl's on. Do you hear my son yelling? Something good must have happened. <laughs> Alright, so since we masked, we will be using the IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. If we had not masked, we would be using the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. But, we masked. So we're going to use the IT Cosmetics. I'm using my um, Kojindo Cotton. my favorite skincare set. Um, okay, I got this sample serum. It's a quenching serum by Coda Lee in the mail. It is for your face. Um, but I have been using it on my eyes. And you want to just press that in. You don't want to rub it. And I love it. It just gives me a little extra moisture under my eyes. Okay, the next step, and this is only the second time we've used, oh, let me show you what it is. <laughs> it's the Ordinary Lactic Acid. This is the second time we'll be using this. Um, I've played around with the order that I put this stuff on. Um, at first I was using the order that it, it tells you, like the order to put it on. I like to press my products into my skin. Anyway, it tells you the order. And I played around a little bit. And... I don't know, I just seem to get better results when I do this order. I always rub my skincare products into my hands because your hands age as quick as your face. 
Okay, while that's kind of absorbing into my skin, you want to give it a couple minutes. Then I'm going to put my eye... I keep hearing my son yell. I want to put my confidence in an eye cream on. Normally, I go in with a Q-tip if it's a jar because I don't like sticking my fingers in there. But with my new setup, I haven't brought Q-tips in here. Again, pat, don't rub. Next step, we're going to go in with the Grand Active Retinoid in Squalane. Kind of an oil. You want to let each layer absorb into your skin. So wait a couple of minutes before you do the next step. Um, so while that's kind of soaking in, I'm going to put a little hydrating balm. This is just a little sample I got by Fresh Sugar, but I really like it. It's in uh, caramel. And because I don't want to rub this balm on my skin, I'm just going to take the opposite side of that toner that we use and sort of clean the fingers again. Now, I got, I got a sample pack of the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. So, this is a cream. It came with, how many did it come with? Eight. I think it came with eight packs. But there's enough in here <clears throat> to use three different times. So, I'm getting a full month's worth. This is my last pack. I've been waiting to talk about it until I use up this last pack. Um, so far, I love it. Love it. So, when I was stationed in Hawaii, I had a neighbor. She was from Korea. Her name was Yu Chong. And she taught me how to rub cleansers and moisturizers onto your face. She was like, Americans don't do it right. <laughs> so you rub up 10 times here. 10 here. 10 here. 10 here. And then you do this. And then you like take your fingers and she just said that this is how they always do it or how her family does it. I don't know the all. Koreans do it this way um, but this is how her fam family did it so she shared the knowledge okay I let this sit for like an hour um, before I do the final two or three, depending on how you look at it. I do a night sleeping mask for my lips. But I let this sit for about an hour, and then I'll come back and finish the final steps. My final couple of steps that I do before I am ready to 
crawl in the bed. Um, so this is by Vena Beauty. It's a teeth whitening charcoal activated powder. So I would normally do this in the bathroom, but the tube made me do it. <laughs> so you just wet your toothbrush. And um, I usually dip this in a little bowl. I didn't bring the bowl in with me, but so we're going to do it this way. You dip it in and you have to time this for two minutes. You ready? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Okay. Okay, the teeth are all clean, and uh, you, you notice they get a little bit wider when you do that. I don't do that every night. I mean, <laughs> I brush my teeth every night, but sometimes I will just use toothpaste. I'll probably do that maybe three or four times a week. Okay, last final steps, although I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, so I'll also add what I do to my hair the night before I am going to wash it, but for my face... Um, we're going to put on the rose hip seed oil. I put this on every night. Um, a few minutes before I'm ready to go to bed. You don't want to put it on right before bed and then crawl in the bed because your pillowcase is going to absorb that oil. Is rub it in your hands. We don't want those hands to age. <laughs> the last step, again, I don't have my Q-tip. I need to bring Q-tips in here. Make a note. Okay. Um, the last step is the Laneige. I love this. It's the Lip Sleeping Mask. I think this one is in Watermelon. No, Berry Mix. Um, I always mean to talk about this in my monthly favorites. And I always forget. But it's a wonderful moisturizer. It smells great. It's... I love it. I have not had chapped lips a day since I did this. Or since I started using it. Alright. I am going to go heat up some coconut oil. And I'll show you how I put it in my hair. Be right back. For this final step, we're going to use <laughs> the Shea Moisture 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. We're just going to split it down the middle. I have a copper brush that I usually brush my hair with at night. And of course, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so this oil is warm, it's not hot, but it's warm. I 
I do this probably twice a week. Um, I just recently started using natural oils. I was using a Kiehl's hair mask, but y'all know the Kiehl's story. They are not cruelty free. And I follow this lady um, on YouTube that does like, I was cleaning today and I've got all kinds of stuff in my hair. I'm trying to make sure I only use about half. I got saved for the other side. But I do want to get it good and saturated. Okay. Once I get it good and saturated, I just braid it. And I sleep in it. Okay. Then do the other side. I'm trying to let my hair grow out super long. I messaged my lady that does my hair. Hey, Lindsay! <laughs> I messaged her the other day. And I sent her a video of the lady that I want to do my hair like with the layers, but I was like, but I want to keep it super hella long. Like, I just want to let it grow. It was really long back about a year ago. And, um, I cut quite a bit off. But I want to go back to long. Not like Crystal Gale long. But long. I wish I had my mom here to braid my hair. Hey, Mommy. <laughs> She's much better at braiding than I am. Never was good at braiding. And I have two girls. And they always want me to braid their hair. And I'm like, oh. like I can't French braid. My mom can do like the fish bone and all that stuff. I can't do that. You get a basic braid with me. All right. We're ready for bed. Night.